everybody, it's Julianne. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. And welcome to part one of four parts of my plant collection, plant tour for spring 2019. I'm really excited about this because I do this on a quarterly basis. And since I did my last plant tour of my collection in Santa Monica at the end of 2018, my plant collection has grown. If you keep up with my channel, I bring plants into my home on a weekly basis. I recently redid the front of my home with more space and real estate for my cactus babies. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for part two, three, and four. I haven't really thought about which direction I'm going with, but I think my part two is going to be in my bathroom because it's something I definitely wanted to share with you guys for a hot minute since I put my DIY shelf in there. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to do two, three, and four. Four is gonna be my patio because my patio has the most of my plant collection. We'll be at the end this time. For the channel would ideally be to film all four parts back to back. I am leaving out of town in two days to head back to San Diego for dance school. So my goal is to do the plant collection tour, my four part series before I head out of town in two days. But unfortunately, the next two days, I am teaching morning and night. Uh, working doubles for the next two days and then I'm driving down to San Diego so we'll see what I can get but done. for today's video I definitely wanted to go ahead and dedicate my time right now to showing you where my collection is at in front of my home if you watch my DIY project lately with the front of my home you know that I changed up the tiers and added more space so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for upcoming plant tours featuring part two three and four which will be probably my bathroom the inside of my home followed up by my patio so if this video gets 600 thumbs up i'll definitely go ahead and dedicate a whole separate video doing a bonus tour of what's going on currently in my greenhouse for spring 2019 i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started so as you can see here there's a lot of things that have changed since i last did my updated tour i have some things on my wooden patio gate a lot of plants that are also in front of my wooden gate and then I kicked it up on a whole different level with my new plant shelf and if you take a look here it goes right up against to my greenhouse so that's kind of the current vibe of what's happening with my space so as you can see right away my DIY plant shelf I changed the layout of it I made it longer so it's seven feet longer and I did it in a DIY style where it's set up as a stairs two tier versus one over the other which was my original setup which are shorter and stacked one over the other. This way I can have plants in different sizes in both tiers and they get sun evenly. It's been a little out. over three months since I last did my plant tour collection for the front of my so I'm gonna go ahead and break down the collection. I hope you guys enjoy this part of the video. All right guys, so here we are in the front of my home. So I wanna start from left to right. As you can see, my patio wooden gate has gotten a makeover. I now have my staghorn fern with my half cocoa liner basket right up against my wooden door i love that look it's so cute and charming i just have it hanging on some s hooks and then right next to it i have my asparagus fern and i love the trailing effect it has grown so long it was originally in my home on the top part of my plant shelf and i recently brought it out put it in a macrame hanger and it has like shoot off so much since i last moved it out here so it's doing really well that planter i got from my grandma as a gift my Brazilian philodendron, my philodendron Brazil is at the end, trailing oh so nicely on a macrame hanger. I love that so much walking into my space. So I love that trailing effect coming in. And then if you take a look here, I have some of my prize babies here. Bob Marley, my unidentified epiphylum, he's hanging out here. I have him on a Tiffany Blue plant stand. I just love the cascading effect of him. He's definitely in one of my top 10 plants. I love this one so much. And then moving next to it is my variegated Amac Euphorbia. Now this is also part of my top 10 and I think he's going to stay in my top 10 for my cacti collection. He's super cool. It came with two babies. I propagated it so that both of my subscribers that wanted babies from it could have it. I have my Wilfin Sensoveria, which I absolutely love. I propagated three babies from it. Who knows, I might go ahead and stick it back in that planter or I might just dedicate a whole new planter with the three babies in it. But so far, I love the four tails in that. And then this is my rescued uh, Calancho, my Calancoi, which I got with Catherine, put up in a nice white planter. So that's like the first part that you see when you come into my home on the left side. So now we're in the front entryway of my home. So we discussed everything on this side of me. I want to go ahead and break down what's on the opposite side coming in. So this is on the right side as you enter into my space. So right away, when you look at my entryway, you see this macrame hanger. I love being able to walk in with hanging plants on both sides of me. This is a two-tier macrame hanger. 
If you're interested in this particular hanger or the two hangers that my Brazilian philodendron and my asparagus fern is in, go ahead and check out my Amazon store. Link is in the description box for the back of my hangers that I'm currently using. I love the two tier for this particular side of the door. I have my Hoya Carnosa Crimson's Princess on the top here. Bottom and here I have another Hoya. This is the pink silver. I absolutely love these two hanging right one over the other. And then this cute little moon and star a wind chime I've had now in my collection for over 20 years. I have a bunch of wind chimes that I used to go and pick up when I was in high school and I've just kind of kept them and collect them. So this is just something from 20 years ago. I absolutely love it. Mystery Hybrid Epiphyllum is definitely a really cool find. As you can see, there's a lot of blooms that are about to happen. I can't wait to see that. I would like to capture that for the channel. Uh, I got this particular one in San Gabriel. I love it so much and I have it in a Walmart planter on a Tiffany Blue stand. So my Bob Marley Epiphyllum and my hybrid Epiphyllum here are both on Tiffany Blue plant stands. I love these combination of the white planters with Tiffany Blue plant stand. I think it's a look and I definitely love the aesthetic of that. So that's as soon as you enter into so my... So here we are on the bottom section of my entryway. As you can see right away, I have my cute owl planter that my mom gifted me. I had this now in my collection, I want to say for over a year now. It was originally green. I sprayed this white and I have my beautiful original Cressula Ovada, which I got in Las Vegas well over two years ago. It's doing so well. I see a lot of new growth on this, which makes me happy. So this lives right in my front of my entryway and I think that's so cute. It definitely gives that vibe of what my space looks like inside with all of the cute little planters. And then in this section here, I have my Oh, Puntia, my prickly pear, which is cuttings from the Arizona house, which I brought back. I have a bunch also living in my greenhouse. And these euphorbias here are cuttings from Tanya. They're rooted up and I absolutely love them. A bunch of my plant friends got cuttings from Tanya. So thank you, Tanya, so much. And then behind here, and I'll switch it to a different point of view, you can see my coral aloe, which I think might be one of the few aloes I have in my collection. But I absolutely love this little section of my entryway as you walk into my space, completed with everything happening on the other side of me. It gives it such a vibe and I love it so much. So let's go ahead and talk about all of the plant babies that are living on my DIY plant shelf. So right now where my collection is at in the front of my home, this is probably the best setup I've ever had for them and they look absolutely adorable. So let's go ahead and talk about them from left to right. So let's talk about this section and then we'll move towards the end. I'm going to talk about the top tier here. I have my Moroccan mom, which has actually was living in my teacup planter that Kira gifted me for a while. Like it was living in there for a good minute. I transplanted it into a Walmart planter. It's doing so well. I absolutely love it in there. And I love how I can see it as soon as I enter into my space. Now right behind my Aeoniums, I have my Epiphyllum here and my Terracotta, which I got from a nursery in Goleta when I was doing my Santa Barbara content. So it lives here now in the front of my home. And next to it here is my Zigzag Euphorbia. And I love this pseudo Zigzag Euphorbia. I got it in San Gabriel. Hybrid. Epiphyllum and my pseudo zigzag cactus, my euphorbia here, were from the same nursery in San Gabriel. I love that nursery so much. I took Catherine there, I took my grandma there. I'll go back there in the future because I found some really cool things, including my copper tone sensivaria. And I have it now in my white planter that I got from downtown LA. I love the look of that, so I'm glad I was able to pick up the planter. And I think I paid maybe around $8 for the planter, so that was definitely a steal. I love the aesthetic right, of that. So I have my baby cuttings. A bunch of them are from Catherine, and I believe this one right here came from my Epiphyllum that I got in Reseda, and they look so cute. Ideally, I would love to see this like in a macrame hanger if I had more space, but for now, these babies are just living outside. But take a look at all of the growth here. So this lives in a terracotta at the end of my plant shelf here. This is my biggest aloe that I have in my collection. This thing was actually small and I got this in Las Vegas. Kira and I got ours at the same time. It was actually like a little baby. And look at how big it is. So Kira, if you're watching this, this is my little update on our coral aloe. So it lives here in the front 
amongst the cacti babies. So my epiphyllum is also living in the same planter that I got from downtown LA. I think I need to go back and get more of these because it's so cool how much plants I was able to fit in this particular aesthetic of planter. So I need to probably get more of those. Next to it, I have my aeoniums and this aeonium actually came from Tanya. I need to go back to her house and do an updated plant tour. She hasn't been on the channel and for a while. the aeoniums are living in a thrifted cup that my mom gifted me. She gifted me a bunch from Las Vegas. So I'm just using them as planters. You guys already know I love upcycling different dishware into planters. So next to it is my fairy cactus castle. I love this thing so much. And I love this particular style of terracotta. So this lives next to there. This is my pseudo zigzag cactus, my euphorbia. I have my variegated watch chain. I absolutely love this thing. It's doing so good. I got this from a nursery in Carpinteria along the California coast off the PCH. I love this thing. I have it in an ice cream planter. You'll see my ice cream planters throughout. And then this guy is living in a planter that I got from a nursery in Eagle Rock. I'm not too sure how I remember where I get everything. I believe this cactus baby came from Las Vegas. This is well over two years old. It's been featured on my top 10, I think in my series last year for top 10 cactus. I absolutely love it. This particular plant is so cute. There was only two. I bought both of them at Eagle Rock at a nursery when I did a come with me. And I think the aesthetic of this plant and planter works out well. To it, I have my moon cactus, which I absolutely love. And this is just another cup that my mom gave me as a thrifted gift. So I'm just using it as a planter. I believe I have maybe one or two cactus babies in my Las Vegas collection with the same planter. Here, I have my two ice cream planters. One with another aeonium. I might go ahead and gather all of my aeoniums and put it in a big planter. We'll see. But I kind of like it spaced out. I believe I got this particular cutting from Tanya as well. And I have my pin cushion here. I got two of them. And one is an ice cream planter and one is in a unicorn planter. All from Las Vegas. So I love me animal planters, especially if they're white. Here's my Crested Eaves Needle. I love this guy so much. He's doing pretty well. He did struggle a little bit from being in the rain, but for the most part, he's doing pretty well. I love his characteristic of growth. It's super cool. I love crested plants in general, whether it's a succulent or a cacti baby. There's so much character to it. Particular baby is living in a kobobu planter, which I got from the 99 cent store, so it's doing well. But guys, when I went to Egypt, like the rain got really, really bad while I was away, and they wiped up a bunch of my collection. So these are the survivors. Here's another pink cushion here, which I've had for a while. And this one is doing quite well. There's a little bloom that's about to pop up here. This is a planter that I got thrifted from Las Vegas, I believe. And this guy, I don't, I'm not too sure what he is, but this was gifted to me from Catherine. So Catherine, if you're watching this, it's doing well. And then in the bottom section here, I have another cactus baby from Catherine. And then I have another Mammalaria, and I love this one. And it is in an ice cream planter. I believe I got this one from Las Vegas as well. And then more Aeonium cuttings, which I got from Tanya. It's doing so quite this well. This is my vintage thrifted creamer I got in Arizona. I love it so much. It's that cobalt blue and white theme. And you'll see later on in my tour, my Peperomia Hope is in the sugar bowl. But I have the cuttings from Tanya here. So Aeonium spread throughout. I love that. There's another baby that I don't know the ID on. Now, I had this cactus baby well over two years now. It's living in a planter, which is absolutely adorable. I'm going to tilt it up this way so you can see. There's terracotta on the bottom and white on the top. I love that. And then this is an agave that I had now for... I want to say maybe a year. Three agaves living in the front of my home were plant purchases from the Rose Bowl Flea Market from my same plant vendor I love going to. There's two little babies here so it's doing really good and in that cobalt blue planter that I got from the 99 cent store. So I believe this guy right here is my San Pedro cactus. I got this as a split with Cura if you watch all my videos. It's been living in my collection for quite a while. Hers is doing really good. So the planter cure and I split in Las Vegas. Both had a baby each, so mine's is doing really well. And it's living in a planter that one of my best friends, Diana, gifted me, who's not into plants. This is my newest addition 
to the cacti family. Apparently these are opuntias. I got these in Las Vegas and I got these planters in Northridge recently with Catherine. I got a bunch of them so you'll see them throughout my collection now from the 99 cent store. There's a hole drilled up in here that I did myself and I actually have the other three babies that was in this particular bunch when I bought it in Las Vegas. So I just split them up. So two of them live in Santa Monica and the other three lives in my bedroom in Las Vegas. Right here at the end is my chicken planter and aeonium cuttings from one of my subscribers, Carmen, out in Arizona. So I have it just living so here. So we are halfway through the shelf. There's a lot going on. Small horn. I love this one. I have two. The other one is right next to me here. This is my newest one and it's the biggest one I have in my collection. I got this from the Pasadena Rose Bowl flea market that I recently went with Catherine. And this came from the same vendor where my agaves came from, which by the way, you'll see two more here. One's kind of struggling from the rain. And then I have my other one here. So all three are in the Kobo Blue planters. Same vendor. And then this one is living in my planter that I got from downtown LA. So I love how this particular circular type of planter looks so good with cacti babies. It's like the perfect aesthetic. Here is my other crested baby. It lost all of its hairs, but it's slowly growing back. Slowly but surely, and it's in an elephant planter. So love that a lot. Next to it is a cutting that I got from my plant friend Tanya from her yard. So this, I haven't checked if it rooted up. I would like to say it has rooted up since I planted in here, but I just I just left it alone and it's living in a terracotta. So here behind Tanya's cutting is what's left of my snowballs. This was so cute and full. I got it in Las Vegas about two years ago and since all of the heavy rain in the beginning of the year, half of the plant died unfortunately. I probably would like to get more in time to fill up the planter again because it's one of my favorites to look at in my collection. So here's my newest variegated baby. It's living in a planter that I got from the 99 cent store in Northridge. I love the look of this. I got this particular baby from the Pasadena Rose Wolf Flea Market. It made it into my current top 10 for cacti. I love it and I have it front and center here. There's so much personality to that. Love this guy so much. Next to it, I have my unidentified baby. I'm not too sure what he is. Um, I'm probably gonna have to look him up, but I had this one now for over two years in my collection in an ice cream planter As well as this guy here. I want to say this is a serious peruvenous if I'm not mistaken This particular plant baby was also another Las Vegas baby I had now for over two years in my collection And I believe I got this planter from Next to it is my variegated Indian corn cob. I love this thing so much I might want to get a bigger one because he's really cool. I believe this was probably featured in my top 10 for last year. I just, I love the personality of this one. It's so On the bottom here, this is what's left, I believe, of my Euphorbia. It had long leaves and they all fell off during the rain, unfortunately. But I want to say it's recovering slowly but surely. I see one leaf popping up. It's living in a thrifted So next to my Indian corn cob is my Stipelia. Now, I did see a really big one in Buena Park and I was really close to buying it. I will do that. If I see this plant baby that I have in my collection bigger or something that's slightly different, I'll go ahead and repurchase the plant and just have multiples of them. I am known for doing that. But I have one, Stipelia. It's doing great. This has not flyered on me. I will keep you guys posted. But it lives out here in front of my home, which by the way has the most sun. For my outdoor space, my front of my home has the most sun. So that's why you see my hardier babies living out here. Here are my night blooming cactus cuttings from Tanya, which actually is doing a lot worse than Kira's. I don't know why. I don't know if because she has hers by the grow light. It's growing really long and active. Mines are on the slow side, but I'm not mad at that. So it's living in my Walmart planter. I want to say this is a variety of the Fairy Castle cactus but it's a little bit taller and this is also living in the planter that I got from Eagle Rock. This particular baby, I wanna say I got from Pasadena Rose Bowl Flea Market. I wanna say, it's hard for me to keep track sometimes with my big collection. Here's another fun Aeonium and I'm gonna have to probably keep turning it so that it doesn't just shift to one Here side. Here we are in the last section of my plant collection in front of my home. 
Down here, I have my original call horn, which I got from a plant show with Catherine last year. It's doing well, but again, it was smaller than the one that I seen at Pasadena Rose Bull Flea Market, which is right behind me. So I had to go ahead and get another one. I do that from time to time. This is a cactus cutting that I got from my friend Evelyn, which I haven't seen in a while, but her mom has a cactus succulent garden. And this is a cutting from the mom's yard. So I just have it living in a terracotta. Don't know what it is. It's unidentified. This what's left of my crown of thorns. And I would like to see it bloom sometime soon. I got this, ooh, I want to say way over a year at my Los Angeles flea market. And this particular planter is thrifted. I believe I brought it from the Bay Area when I was living there. And it's doing so well. Take a look at this. I think when I bought it, there was white blooms on it. So we'll see when it blooms on me again. So right next to the cactus cuttings that I got from Tanya is my aloe that I got from Carrie. She gifted one to me and one to Catherine. So I have it in an ice cream planter. It's doing well. And then right behind it is another cactus baby that I got from Las Vegas. Also in a terracotta. I love these. They're so cute. And then to finish up the top shelf, I have my rabbit's ear and this opuntia is also another cutting from tanya believe it or not it's doing so well i've given so many ears away whether it's to plant friends or for giveaways and it's doing really good so i, I can't believe that's so cool and then these aeoniums at the end were a gift from Catherine, so it's doing well all the way here at the end and then to wrap up the video i have these three here I have my opuntias that I got from hiking in Las Vegas. I think my other opuntia is actually doing way better in Las Vegas in the kitchen. And here at the end is my Eve's Needle, which is also another plant baby that I got from the same vendor in Pasadena Rose Bowl Flea Market where I got my agaves and my call horn. And this has been in my collection, I want to say for over a year. It's a living in a Walmart. And to wrap up the video, I'm going to talk about this baby here. And this is a cutting that I got from Tanya way over a year ago. I believe I got this planter from TJ Maxx. And the baby that came with it is living in Curious Collection in Las Vegas. Alright guys, that is going to wrap up my Spring 2019 plant tour part 1 of my 4 parts. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me break down my collection. So stay tuned for upcoming plot tours. I'm going to go ahead and break down everything that's in my bathroom currently, inside of my home and end with my biggest part of my collection which is my patio there's so many cool things happening in the collection i hope you guys enjoyed this detailed plant tour it also gives me a chance to see how my plants are doing and it always seems to amaze me how much i can remember from each plant because i have over 200 plus plants but they're definitely like little souvenirs along my plant life it's just so really cool to see them all ganged up together so i hope you guys enjoyed the video sound off down below what was your favorite part of the front of my home was it my wooden patio door in front of the wooden patio door in the entryway here or my shelf sound off down below again if this video gets 600 thumbs up i'll go ahead and do a special bonus tour of my greenhouse for spring 2019 I'll see you guys tomorrow. You can find more on my blog at ellajulian.blogspot.com. Stay tuned, part two, three, and four. And I'll see you guys soon. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. I get a video live every day at 5 a.m. inspiring you. I have over 400 videos on the channel that you can go ahead and binge watch and get inspired on. And stay tuned, part two, three, and four is coming up soon. I'd like to go ahead and break down the bathroom next. There's about 50 plants, guys, in my bathroom. So that's really cool. It's grown so much since the last tour. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me as I break down my collection and share with you where my collection is at for spring 2019. Stay tuned for more plant tours. Until next time, you can find more on my blog at ellajulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from my home here in Santa Monica, California. Bye!